The reward for finding a block when mining Bitcoin is currently 6.25 BTC or almost $150,000 at today's coin price. But there are two problems. The first one is that nowadays you need very expensive specialized ASIC miners to mine Bitcoin profitably. And secondly, when you mine it normally on a mining pool, you only get paid a small share of that massive $150,000 block reward and how much you get is relative to the amount of mining power or hash rate you provide to the pool. Because in reality, the whole pool actually only gets paid when one of the miners on the pool finds a block and the pool then takes the block reward from that block and divides it out fairly amongst all of the active miners on the pool. However, if you want, you can skip that whole process and do what's called solo mining, which basically means that you only get paid when or if you personally actually find a block. But when you do, you get to take home that full block reward for yourself. And I'm going to show you how that's done. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. CoinLedger is a crypto and NFT tax software built to save you time and help maximize your tax refund. Thankfully, CoinLedger has made the process of doing this super easy. All you have to do is sign up for an account and link your crypto wallets. That's it. What CoinLedger then does is it looks at the transaction data of those wallets and uses that to automatically generate a tax report for you in your country's local currency. You can then take this report and export it into any tax filing software like TurboTax or TaxAct or you can send it off directly to an accountant. Best part is that if you use my link in the description below, you can sign up and use CoinLedger entirely for free. And once you're happy with the reports and are ready to export, you can save 10% by using my discount code SEB. But that's not all. They're also doing a giveaway where you can win a free $300 tax report. So make sure you click on that link in the video description below for more details. So what decides who finds the block? Well, explained in very simple terms, for every new block about to be written on the Bitcoin blockchain, a random number is picked. It is then up to all the mining machines around the world to guess what that number is, and whoever manages to guess that number first, gets to write the block and take home that sweet 6.25 Bitcoin block reward. Every one of these guesses at the target number is called a hash which is where we get the term hash rate, which refers to the amount of guesses your mining rig makes per second. Theoretically, almost anything that has some sort of digital chip and a way to connect to the internet could send hashes off and try to guess this target number. People have even been able to make old original Game Boys mine Bitcoin this way. Problem is that the more people who are mining Bitcoin, or rather the more hashes that are sent to try and guess the target, the harder that target becomes to guess. This is generally what we refer to as the network difficulty, how difficult it is for a single hash to correctly guess the target and win the block. And of course, the higher your hash rate, meaning the more guesses per second you send, the more likely you are to guess the correct number. However, theoretically, all you really need is one single guess. So in that vein, today I'm going to get this RTX 3080 hashing on the Bitcoin blockchain. And I'll show you how to do that in both Windows and Hive OS. And then I'm also going to show you why that is a terrible idea and what you should do instead. All right, so to get your GPU solo mining Bitcoin in Windows, first of all, you need to make a new folder. I'll call it mining. Then we need to go into Windows security and make an exclusion for this new folder. And you might need to do the same thing in your antivirus software as well. This is because a lot of mining software can be falsely flagged as malware. However, I can't vouch for this software we're about to use being 100% safe. So you do this at your own risk, of course. We then need to download CC Miner from GitHub. Link will be in the description. Save it in the mining folder we just created and extract it. I'm then going to open Notepad and paste this in. You'll need to enter your own Bitcoin wallet address here. Uh, I'm going to assume that if you're watching this, you already have a Bitcoin wallet or at least you know how to get one. And if not, then just Google it. You then need to save this file in the CC Miner folder as bitcoin.bat and make sure you change the save as type to all files in the dropdown. 
Then all you need to do is open this new batch file you created and that's it. You're now up and solo mining Bitcoin. You can then open up something like MSI Afterburner to overclock and power limit your GPU if you want. I found that turning the memory all the way down, increasing core clock by about 150 and power limit around 65% is a good starting point. Quick side note here, we're actually still technically mining to a pool here, but it's what's called a solo pool, meaning it operates the same way as if you were to solo mine. You just don't have to set up a bunch of technical stuff like your own Bitcoin node to get the solo mining to work. Now, I just want to say that I had to try a lot of different solo mining pools and the one I ended up using for this example, luckymonster.pro, was the only one I could get to work when mining with GPUs. However, I've never heard of them before and I can't exactly vouch for them being trustworthy. Okay, so all the other pools technically work too. However, the share difficulty on those pools were all so high that it just isn't realistic for a GPU to submit a share more than maybe once per day or even less. So that is why we went with luckymonster.pro. And to do it in HiveOS, you just need to set up a new fly cheat, select Bitcoin as the coin, choose your wallet for pool choose configure in miner select cc miner and then click setup miner config under hash algorithm select show 256 d bitcoin use this wallet and worker template and fill in your pool url like this then just launch the flight sheet and that's it if you want to overclock and power limit your gpu same numbers as for the windows example apply for HiveOS as well and as we can see here our hash rate is roughly 2.5 giga hash at around 170 watts. So if you want to see how likely we are to find a block with this setup, we can come to this website, solochance.com. We can see that with our 2.5 giga hash, we have a roughly one in 900 million chance of finding a block per day. Or on average, we should find a block about once every 2.4 million years. <laughs> So there's a specific reason why I used this 3080 as an example for this. As we saw, it does about 2.5 giga hash per second, pulls around 170 watts when power limited, and you can find one used on eBay now for around 500 bucks roughly. But if you seriously want to give this solo mining Bitcoin thing a try, then there is something a lot better available. And that is one of these. So this is a Mars Lander mini Bitcoin miner from BitcoinMerch.com. And they sent this over to me as a gift, but I'd be stupid not to mention it in this video. So compared to the 3080, this thing actually does 100 times the amount of hash rate at about 250 giga hash per second. And it does that at only 17 watts as compared to the 3080's 170 watts. So basically 100 times the hashing power at a tenth of the power consumption. And price wise, it's about the same too. This one costs $489 currently on bitcoinmerch.com. And if you wanna get one, I'll link it in the description below this video. And if you do need help setting it up, uh, the Hobbyist Miner actually has a great video tutorial on how to do that. I'll link that down in the description as well. Of course, the drawback with something like this is that the only thing you can actually do is mine Bitcoin, while the graphics card can, you know, <laughs> be used as an actual graphics card as well.